last season on the Old College Try. It all started last year during open enrollment. It was Parents' Day on campus, and my father was coming to visit. Well, hello there, little missy. Dad, this is my boyfriend, Josh. Hi, sir. Very nice to meet you. First college degree at 45? Hey, what would your wife think? Which one? I couldn't do it alone, but if I had someone my age start with me, two old bulls mixing it up with the young bucks, and hey, we got big news. Dad? Dad? We just registered for classes. We're going to college. <laughs> I I'm taking a tea. I'm trying to murder you with a hatchet. I'm dealing with some issues here, man. No, no, I'm going crazy. <laughs> nobody puts fur in the corner. I tell you, nobody. Nobody at all, all ever. Right, all right. <laughs> Time to get to France. $2,100. <laughs> Look, man, we don't have that much money, but the love of my life is getting on that plane, and if I don't go with her, I may never see her again. Well, here I am, somewhere over the Midwest, on my way to Chicago so I can catch a connecting flight to France. Funny how things turned out, isn't it? I thought my life was ruined, but it looks like a little excitement is just what I needed. I didn't know what the future holds, but I know I'll be with Casey, so. And now, season two of the old college try. Hell, there ain't nobody who plays like I can. It's been a long time since I've dreamt that far. Well, there's Chet selling his precious car dealership for his new venture in life, Talent and Chet, Chet Walters Talent Agency. I know, we tried to talk him out of the name, but hey, he thought it was clever. Not to mention that his only client is my dad, Wolfgang von Wolfen. So the talent part in the title is uh, kind of an exaggeration. Oh, I'm sorry, if this is the first time you've subscribed to my inner monologues, then you're probably asking yourself who I am. Don't be afraid. Come on in! Come on! <laughs> this is cool, huh? Yeah, kind of like living in the Matrix, right? Ooh, check this out. Operator? Yes, Mr. <laughs> Morton. Let's go check in on my dad. Catch up on this little story of mine. With pleasure, Mr. Morton. Whoa. <laughs> Bye! I'll, I'll, be, I'll be back. <laughs> my dad is really getting into the swing of the whole school thing. He declared himself a music major. And then he went to the main office and registered. Yeah, he thought he could just declare it out loud. I had to tell him it didn't work that way. So now Janda and Wolf are classmates as well as bandmates. They started their own college band and even managed to land a few gigs. That's my buddy Zach. He's still a culinary arts major. Hence the cookies. That's his latest obsession, the perfect chocolate chip cookie. He's crazy like that. He's so crazy that he's attempting to reinstate the college cooking club that was banned nine years ago. Crazy! <laughs> Not everything is hunky-dory this year. Operator, take me to my so-called girlfriend, Casey. I'm sorry, Josh. I can't do that. Hal? <laughs> Who's Hal? Vern? You rang? <laughs> Vern, what the heck are you doing in my head? I built a special app for my iPad so that I could intercept your thoughts via cell phone signal. That doesn't even make any sense. The iPad isn't like a phone, like the iPhone. It isn't? <laughs> then what the hell good does that do? Beats me, why'd you buy one? It was shiny and neat. You spent $500 because it's shiny and... Wait, don't change the subject. Just take me to Casey. <sighs> sure thing. What? Vern, where am I? I said take me to Casey. Josh, I'd like you to meet Casey Melnick, brother to that security guy, Bert. Hey, cut the crap, Vern. What am I doing here? Hey, you said take me to Casey. You just didn't specify which Casey. Casey Walters, my girlfriend. But I thought you guys broke up. Spoiler much? Way to ruin the story. So, how did you screw this one up? I don't want to talk about it. So why did you have me bring you here? Just take me back to the dorm. Oh my god, are you gonna cry, you pansy? Operator, take me to the dorm! I'm not the operator, and this isn't the Matrix. What? Josh! Vern is infiltrating your dreams in order to seal secrets! You're so wrong. First of all, there's nothing in this sorry excuse for a brain that I can use. 
Secondly, I'm just planting suggestions in his head to make him think that they're his own. And thirdly, this isn't the Matrix. That's so 10 years ago. This is Inception. I own you now, Martin. Rue the day! Rue it! <laughs> Burn, what the F? Here at Talent and Chet, we're always looking for bright young stars to represent the future of showbiz. Tell me, what can you do? Well, I can eat large food items in one bite. <laughs> Good God, man! <laughs> what well, I tell you? Uh, no, nah, I don't think that's what we're looking for. <laughs> but I'll keep you in mind. Wait. I once ate a whole turducken in one sitting. Now what's a turducken? Well, it's a chicken. Inside of a duck. Inside of a turkey. Delicious. Sorry, man. I don't eat anything with the word turd in it. You're lost. But hey, I got a cousin that could belch some macarena. Now that's what I'm talking about. What's his name? Her name is Nancy, and I'll have her give you a call. Great. Hey, thanks for stopping by. Here, here's a coupon for a free half-pound burger. Just one? Get the hell out of my office. Come on, kid, I gotta find my lucky guitar pick. Chet says he has a gig for me. You don't even care that Casey and I broke up? It's not that I don't care, son, but I got nothing here. Come on, whatever happened that we can talk about our feelings anytime? Not so last semester, pup. Hey, my fish that rock shirt. Yeah, it's hard to be nostalgic about six months ago. That's exactly what I'm talking about. No, no, I'm not agreeing with you. It kind of sounded like you were. Sarcasm, old man. Sarcasm. I think you need to work on that because it's a little confusing. No, no, sarcasm. It's my thing. Since when? Since always. I mean, come on, casual detachment from a serious subject matter? It's totally my M.O. M.O.? My persona, my rap sheet. You've been watching CSI Tijuana again? That Lou Diamond Phillips just gets me. La 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 bumba. <laughs> Wait, no, no, don't change the subject. Which was? You. You never care about my feelings. It's always about you. I mean, I just had a major crisis in my life and you could care less. Ah, gummy bears. You're not gonna eat those. <sighs> Later, kid. Right now I'm looking for my guitar pick. I mean, come on. Pay attention. You're always talking about yourself, and you totally miss everything around you. See? See? You turn it around and change the subject to your own personal feelings and completely ignore mine. I swear you got ADD. And all that Ritalin I gave you as a kid must not have done anything. That's because you snorted it all. Oh, yeah, right. That was good stuff. Yeah, besides, you used to have me chase it down with Mountain Dew. That's really defeats the purpose. Ah, uh, no. Mountain Dew is a cure-all elixir? There are absolutely no health benefits to soda. Did you convert to Scientology when you were in France, kid? No health benefits in soda. Next you're gonna say antidepressants don't work and coffee doesn't cure cancer. It's sugar and caffeine. I'll have you know that your grandmother cured my chicken pox, the flu, and my ADD with soda. That's preposterous. How'd she do that? Hey, gummy bears. Yeah, you just found... And my lucky guitar pit! Yeah, in your pocket. Good one. Well, how do I look, kid? Like the president of the Peaked and Knows It Club. Yeah, like the President Obama of rock! Totally didn't get my sarcasm, huh? Yeah, I'm gonna go with my thing on that. Zach? Mm -hmm. Oh, is it dressed like a lame rock star day? Too bad, because I just sold my fishnet shirt. <laughs> Ah, more sarcasm. Totally, because no one would buy that crap. <laughs> yeah, he looks like uh, Bon Jovi with polio. <laughs> right, you work on that one while I proceed with... He looks like the boss, only lame. 
<laughs> nice. You just called me lame twice. You're about as predictable as a Michael Bay movie. You're right. What's happening to me? I just got burned by the wolf. He looks like Bon Jovi with AIDS. Ugh. What? Come on. He pretty much found the cure. Mm, too soon, man. Magic Johnson's rolling in his grave right now. <laughs> He's not dead. Oh my god. They can bring people back from the dead? I knew George A. Romero was right. He's not a zombie. He's a robot? I knew James Cameron was right. Ooh. Do you want to watch Avatar again? Do I want to watch? You just know me, man. Frighten my soul. Yes! Uh, uh, come on, guys. Can't wait till after my gig. Movie's loaded. No turning back now. Avatar or gig? I can totally rock people out for about an hour, get to class, and be back in time to watch the good guys blow up the home tree. What? The good guys didn't blow up the tree. Those were the bad guys. Like the U.S. Marines are the bad guys. They are. They're trying to kill the poor natives. Those blue hippies? Good riddance. I mean, don't get me wrong. Their women folk are kind of hot. But them squatters should have been thrown out years ago. It was their home. Come on. It was their home. Till the Marines showed up and stomped them back to the Stone Age. I mean, when have you ever seen a movie where the aliens are the good guys? E.T.? What, that 80s flick where that cute little alien infiltrates the human race by appealing to our children? Haven't you ever seen the sequel where they come back and blow up the White House? That was Independence Day. It's not a sequel to E.T. How do you know? Because it wasn't... Their ships were... Oh, my God. E.T. tricked us. Is Drew Barrymore privy to this information? Don't you have class to go to? Good looking out, kid. All right, Wolf. Shot the rock! Uh, what? Check out my dad's butt when he leaves. Oh, did you seriously just say that to me? Just trust me. Uh, it's nothing. Never mind. Uh, thought you had a bald spot. Good one. I don't know if I feel right about that, but the energy was there. Excellent setup. Well, the question is, did he plan that, or is Alzheimer's setting in? <laughs> Casey, you're seriously not gonna tell me what happened? No, it's private. Yeah, I know. That's why you need to tell your best friend. Quit being such a wench. I'm not being a wench, quit being your head. Why are we referring to each other in medieval lingo? Ugh. We need to stop talking to Vern. Whatever. Just go talk to Josh and make things right, because not being able to hang out in his dorm is like my mom not letting me home. Your mom doesn't let you home. Well, she thought I dropped out of college. You did drop out of college. For like a day. Get off my back. No wonder Josh broke up with you. Stop being a witch. Hey, Zach bought me a real Harry Potter wand over the summer, so don't mess with me. I think the term real was used very loosely. So now you don't believe in magic? France really killed the dream, huh? No, it actually confirmed the fact that Josh and I aren't married, and I'm in college, and I don't need to be tied down. Josh wanted to tie you down? Is that why you guys broke up? <laughs> Not into freaky deaky? I don't even talk to you. Um, because I'm like Nick Cage. Old and gross? No, kick ass. Uh, it's pretty obscure. Okay. I'm a national treasure. Why did he buy you a wand? They didn't use wands in the Sorcerer's Apprentice. No, no, not Nick Cage. I mean, Zach. Oh. Because he fancies me. It's probably because of my enchanting womanly wiles. Oh, sounds intriguing. But alas, I must bequeath my company in music class. Parting is such a sweet sorrow. What's that smell? milk over a rotten sausage. That is the smell of success. She's my new client. Pfft, sucks though. The last one was so nasty it almost melted my fake plant. So Chet, have you lined up an opening act for my big gig? What big gig? Oh yeah Chet, got me a big gig yet? Actually, 
Uh, you're gonna be the main act at this year's fall festival. Rock on. I hope there's some ladies that are old enough to party. Oh, they'll be old enough to party like it's 1899. <laughs> Should be 1999. Sure. Yeah, I'll see you there, man. Chat. You didn't tell me the fall festival was at the Senior Citizen Center. Hey, you didn't ask. Your opening act should smooth over the crowd. How am I supposed to follow a Lawrence Welk cover band? Oh, you'll do fine. Hey, while you're there, pick me up a new plant for my office. And you can leave the sympathy card behind. We'll do good, buddy. Hey, I gotta go. Looks like the crowd's getting restless. I think it's about supper time. Just don't mention Perkins is closed. You'll have a riot on your hands. What's this about, Zach? Well, Vern, I just wanted to show you my appreciation for saving us from the hatchet last semester, so I baked you some cookies. What are you talking about? You made me look like a fool, and I got arrested. Yeah. Well, then I want to reinstate the campus cooking club. No way it helped me out, Vern. I need to be around other culinary geniuses so I can share my knowledge and expertise. Do you not remember the great food battle of 2005? <laughs> Many great students lost their lunch that day. Come on, Vern. No, Zach, and that is final. Well, maybe I'll just go over your head. <sighs> Good luck with that. My boss is not as forgiving as I. Whatever, man. I can't believe I'm missing Avatar for this. Really? Avatar? Yeah, I'm pretty sure I saw that 15 years ago. It was called Dances with Wolves. <laughs> Except for there weren't any of those silly blue space hippies. You know what? They're Navi. Oh, just forget it. it no! <laughs> Janda, I need your help with a little project. We're gonna take it to the man, all the way to the top. Janda, what the fudge? The gig? Well, where have you been? Class is almost over. I could ask you the same thing, Janda. See, I've been at a musical rendition of Cocoon. I love Steve Gutenberg. Yeah, those are police academies. <laughs> Wait, don't try to change the subject. You missed a gig, Janda. Sir, please be seated. Sorry, Toots, but no can do. Little Miss Misfit here made me look like an idiot in front of everybody. Sit down. I am trying to teach the works of Beethoven. The dog? How's he gonna write music? He doesn't even have hands! Sit down now, Mr. Martin! In a chair? Now, Mr. Martin, what influence does Ludwig von Beethoven have on your musical background? Well, I did take a page out of a style book. See, back in the 80s, I made this video where I had on this powdered wig and I played the piano. That wasn't you. That was Biz Markey. Everybody did a cover of that in the 80s, Janda. I can't wait to see that YouTube video. That'll be it for today, class. Please listen to the Best of Queen album before class tomorrow. There will be a quiz on the structure of a rhapsody. Except for you, Mr. Martin. I'd like to speak with you for a few minutes in private. Oh, man. I've noticed that you've been continuously late to my class. I thought a musical genius such as yourself would really excel. She just called me a genius? Now I suppose we'll have to find another way for you to participate in class. Albert, I don't think you understand. I've been a fan of yours since I was a young girl. My mom used to put on one of your records while she watched The Price is Right. <laughs> oh, I've always fantasized about you, but now that I actually get to teach you, it's just such an honor. I, I'm so, so... <sighs> Not this again.
Her Majesty will see you now. I'm scared. I know, me too, Newt. Wait, who's new? <laughs> so, I hear you've had dispute in Sector B7. Yeah, whatever. Look, I want to reinstate the Campus Cooking Club. After what happened? Well, that would be disrespectful to all those injured in the food fight. Oh, look, I didn't have anything to do with that food fight. I just want to be free to cook again. In the general area where unrelated cooking accident transpired. Well spoken, my young apprentice. So we can start the club again? <laughs> I think not. Cooking is a violent act. So you've never cooked. I have my own cooking club. And it isn't full of violent fanatics like the campus cooking club. That doesn't even make sense. Silence, you witch! Whoa, 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 whoa. Don't sweat it, Jan. I'll handle this. We don't need this tool of approval. We just need to go further up the ladder. To the student council! You wouldn't. Wouldn't I? Wouldn't I? Whoop! Come on, homegirl. Let's roll. Why is she so afraid of the student council? <laughs> Hey, how'd the quest for freedom go? We're taking it all the way to the student council. Oh, big deal. It's the student council. How lame. <laughs> yeah, I know. People get so worked up over the stupidest shit. It's the X. Hey, guys. What are you doing? Come in. I don't know if I'm allowed. After you broke my boy's heart? Oh, I better go. I'm... I'm sorry. Come on, Casey. I I'm just kidding. You know you're my homegirl. Hey, you said I was your homegirl. You are. I'm just trying to make her feel better. Jeez, I'm right in the funny bone. Come on, Casey. We're just kidding. We don't care what Josh thinks. Are you okay with it, Josh? Oh, I'm not okay with it. I still have feelings for you. But I, I don't want you to leave. No, I, I can't not have you in my life. Thank God that drama's over. Hey, look, it's Avatar time! <laughs> Come on, we need your help on Team Navi. I mean, Wolf thinks that the Marines are the good guys. They're not Marines, they're mercenaries, and they are definitely the bad guys. Mm. Marines? Bad guys? What are you, terrorists? Hey, did you guys hear? They found Ms. Laymore passed out and bleeding from her head. I didn't do it. I bet Wolf did it. <laughs> <laughs> 